Hey guys, get it again. Uh, today, well, quite an exciting day for me actually. Um, finally got my hands on a brand new 28cm de Creuset signature line Dutch oven. Uh, now I have it side by side with a five year old, uh, also a 28cm de Creuset classic uh, Dutch oven. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on if it's worth it, um, if it's worth your money to upgrade from an uh, old classic to a new signature. Okay. So why don't I just answer the question right off the bat? Um, I, I really want to say yes, uh, but I, from a you know from a sensible, practical point of view, I'm gonna say for most people, uh, the answer is no. Okay. Um, if you've got one of these classic Dutch ovens, you should be very very happy uh, because I have no doubt that uh, it will continue to serve you well for many, many years to come, um, even a lifetime, or even your kid's yeah. lifetime. Um, because, I mean, upgrade is not the right word to, for, for these dark ovens, um, because they are simply not something that is, um, well, that should be upgraded uh, every few years. It's not an iPhone, it's not an Android. Um, so if you've got one and you're happy with it, um, then there's no reason not to keep using it. Um, but having, having said that, um, there are a few differences between the older classic and the newer signature. Uh, as I understand, the Le Creuset no longer sells the classic. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've read. Uh, so if you buy one today, it will be the signature. Okay. So what has uh, Le Creuset done with the signature um, that's different to the classic? It's not necessarily always an upgrade, um, but let's uh, have a look at the differences. So first of all, uh, the new signature line has a higher temperature tolerance. Um, this is tolerant to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this is tolerant to 375. Uh, I forgot to check what it is in Celsius. Um, you can go look up that up yourself. Um, and the only reason is, is because of this knob um, on, on the lid. Um, I, I didn't do my research. I don't know exactly what material this is. But it is because this knob, um, that this has a lower temperature rating. This is a stainless steel knob, uh, which can also go up to 500 degrees as with the rest of um, this oven, and a Dutch oven. Uh, it, it's not really a problem because you can easily remove this knob and, and, and you have the same temperature tolerance as the new signature line. So for, for me, that's not really an issue. Um, and I don't imagine that would be a deal breaker for, for, for most people. Uh, the second difference is, or the second upgrade, and this is an actual upgrade, uh, is the handles. Uh, the handles. Uh, you can see that the handle on the signature is much, much bigger um, than the handle on the uh, classic. And that gives you a much more comfortable and steady grip. And that's what I really like about the new, um, uh, the new signature line. Um, I, I can easily wrap. Uh, four fingers around this handle with plenty of room to spare whereas I can only comfortably wrap three fingers around this handle okay so the much bigger comfortable handles um, that is for me that's a definite upgrade uh, the third difference is uh, difference rather uh, is the weight the signature line uh, of the same size uh, I, I weighed it on my scale uh, is about 600 grams heavier than the classic line and 400 grams of that weight is on the body of main body of the Dutch oven itself. Um, so I'm not counting the lid. This is this is 200 grams heavier than this, um, but that I mean it doesn't make a difference to your cooking. Um, but the 400 grams of additional weight here uh, will give you just that little bit of uh, extra heat retention and, um, and and better temperature control. Uh, I, again, you know, it, it's obviously not, not major. Um, we're only talking about what is that? Not even ten percent um, of the weight. Um, but if if you really care about the extra four hundred grams, then yeah, you, you you may want to consider moving to the signature line. Um, but it's 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 obviously it's not a deal breaker. And you could actually see that the signature line is just a tiny little bit thicker than a classic um, Dutch oven. It's, I don't know how obvious it is on camera, but I, I, I can see it with my um, naked eye that this is ever so slightly thicker um, compared to the classic um, Le Creuset Dutch oven. 
And uh, the very last uh, differences, difference, as far as I'm aware, uh, is the quality of the enamel. Um, uh, uh, on the lid, on the surface, surface of the lid, it's quite obvious uh, that this is on the signature, it is smoother than on the cleansing. Apparently, Le Creuset has also said the enamel um, of the interior is a, of a better quality. Uh, but I just got this today, right? so I can't um, comment on if that's really true or not. I guess you would only find that out after many, many years of usage. Um, so, I mean, yeah. For me, the bigger handle and the slightly heavier weight, uh, they are genuine benefits. And uh, it's not a big enough reason for me to tell anybody to, yeah, you know, Go, go and definitely go and buy the new buy the new signature line. Uh, there, I mean, there are a few reasons um, why you should upgrade, and I will go through them now. Uh, the number one reason is that if if you're just the type of guy who always needs to have the latest um, or the latest and the greatest, that you just won't settle for anything that's of a second generation. Um, if you're that type of guy, um, then yeah, go, go go right ahead and buy the. By, by, by the signature. This, the second reason would be that um, the, the apparent shortcomings of the classic uh, is making your life miserable in the kitchen. For example, the smaller handles, the slightly lighter weight. Um, I don't see why they would, <laughs> but let's say if, if they were. Uh, and and you think that by getting some bigger handles uh, and a heavier Dutch oven is going to alleviate all of that pain and suffering. Um, if if there's uh, of that level of importance to you, then by all means um, go go with a classic. Uh, sorry, go with a signature. Go with a signature. Um, and the last reason would be a combination of the second reason and the numbers. Keeping in mind that these second-hand Dutch ovens, they sell very well on the second-hand market. Um, there's, a, there's quite a high demand uh, for, uh, for these liquorcite Dutch ovens. So if I was, or if you were to sell your five-year-old or how many-year-old Dutch oven, um, you should have no trouble getting at least 50% of what you originally paid for it. So let's say, you know, you, you struck a good deal, you got 60% of the money back from your original purchase and combining that with um, that combining that with you, know, you thinking that these um, these upgrades or these changes are extremely important to you then yeah it could be a good um, it could be a worthy investment to to upgrade and you know in that sense the retail well, not the retail. The retails for this is uh, is officially three hundred and thirty euros or something like that. But um, but most stores, uh, in fact, maybe all the stores will sell this for around two hundred and twenty euros. Okay, so you pay. Uh, so that's practically the price that you pay for 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 this signature model. If you can sell this for one hundred twenty euros, and that I think I mean here in the Netherlands, I think that's feasible. And yeah, I mean, you know, if you got if you got a hundred extra hundred euros burning a hole in your pocket um, that you just need to get rid of because it's weighing you down, um, and you want the bigger handles and you want the heavier weight, um, yeah, then go for it. You know, it's um, it's, it's um, it, that, that could 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 that could be a worthy investment. Um, but I think in most cases, um, you know, if you're happy with what you got, then stay happy with what you got and keep using what you got um, because you know seems to be a bit of a waste um, to be using a Dutch oven for five years and um, and then and then upgrading um, because its intended lifespan is much much longer than that mm. so um, so you then you might think you know why, why the hell did I buy a brand new Dutch oven why, why, why did I make the purchase uh, it's it, it, it's it's a bit of a hobby for me that's all um, I I had a I, if you see my other video comparing the Lecrozet to a, a average price Dutch oven, um, in that in which case that's a BK, a Dutch branded uh, Dutch branded Dutch oven. 
Um, and so I have sold that uh, Dutch oven for a pretty good price. And, um, and I picked this one up very, very cheap. I couldn't actually believe, um, you know, what a good deal I got on it. So if I was to sell this today or sell this now, um, I would actually make some money off it. Uh, not that it was the uh, original intention of the purchase. Um, you know, I just bought it as a bit of a hobby. So that in my head, those two combined gives, gives me a good enough justification that I can justify to myself without feeling like I'm, you know, wasting money to get a brand new model. Um, so that's why I did that. Um, but, um, but yeah, again, in conclusion, if you got one of these and you're happy with it, then I don't see, up, uh, I don't see a strong reason to upgrade. So yeah, um, I hope you found that helpful and I will see you in the next uh, video.